So Jeff Wittick, who has always been a big staunch supporter of David Dobrik, came out recently uh, speaking against him. Now, David Dobrik seemed to be on a decline for a while. If you don't know who David Dobrik is, he is a YouTuber. I think his decline started when a member of his vlog squad, basically a version of Team 10, uh, came out and his name is Big Nick. He was a shorter guy and he was getting ragged on all the time and they just wouldn't stop and so he eventually left. He was on the H3 podcast and a lot of different other podcasts. It was pretty big last year. Then another guy came out and talked about how he got tricked into kissing Jason Nash on video. Which, that's, that's a whole other subject. Then there were accusations against some guy named Dirty Dom saying that he had uh, violated a girl that was drunk. It was in a New York Post article and all this stuff started swirling. And a video came out of Jeff Wittick getting swung around on a caterpillar like excavator, I'm guessing. And David apparently was the one driving it and David stopped it just swung around and smacked his face into the arm of the excavator it broke the side of his face it jacked him up really bad now as it started off Jeff was really cordial towards David didn't blame him didn't come out saying it really he's a seen you have to break your face but he came out and said uh, when, when he saw a picture of David's perfume he sold for 50% he said oh wow it must not be good I guess no one will like a so- sociopath now I personally don't really know too much about Jeff Wittick now I looked into him a little bit before I did this video apparently he's this guy that's like really rough tough and hardcore he's been in jail a couple times he's peace of mind stuff like that now when you have friends right jeff was sitting in the hospital with a life and altering brain injury and his injury to his head it wasn't just his eye right he is still getting surgeries to this day like last week he had his ninth surgery and he has one more in the future and he, jeff felt as though David was pretty much just moving on with his life as if nothing had happened. And I mean, he was pretty much right. David just acted like it was all good, you know, kind of just scooted on. And Jeff and David ended up sitting down, and people start, started saying that they could feel the resentment from Jeff towards David, which I mean is really understandable. And people were thinking that because David is the vault swats cash cow and has made Jeff Wittick a lot of money like a lot a lot of money they didn't want to you know kill the golden goose golden goose I've tried to say that like seven times and I've cut it a couple times jeez anyway I mean Big Nick, I mean, his career has just been on sort of a decline. He's off doing something or other, and that they got tricked in the kitchen, Jason Nash. I don't even remember his name. I could go look for it, but I think it more insatiates the point that once these people... So Jeff came out on a live stream and basically just started talking about how someone in the uh, chat of the live streams asked if David had ever even texted him while he was in the hospital fighting this injury and he said no and he said that he was done protecting David's image and then he was going you know balls to the wall like he was gonna not be with David at all anymore he just couldn't stand him anymore he also said that he didn't want people to go after David super hard because there were people uh, who were associated with David that were still his friends. And if David takes a hit, they take a hit as well, you know, in terms of views or negative attention on the Internet. You know how that gets. 
um, so uh, H3H3 of the clips and asked to be on uh, the podcast with him and he eventually said he'll do it and he's gonna do it so it'll really be interesting to see what he has because he's also said that there's a lot of other stuff of just the uh, excavator incident and he'll probably talk the actually it was an insider article and not a post article about the dirty dom situation the other stuff and it's more than just those th- interesting to see what happened with david dobrik um and i want to talk for a few minutes you know you have friends and this is for anybody whether you're like him or you're like just a no, no right or somebody like i, I don't want to call my body but i, I get um uh Friends and family, the people you have around you, are really important. And how you treat those people is really important. Because a lot of times, those people are all you have in this world, right? Because money, forget views, and forget clout. Well, at the end of the day, you are on your way out of here. You're not going to be worried about, oh, I got a million views on this video. We pranked them so hard. You're going to be grateful for the have around you. And... What seemingly when you're like David and you just are horrible to the people around you and you make jokes that uh, the black guy that I brought up earlier he found them to be racist and he felt like David just kept going over over and over just hard in the paint and you just make fun of your friends that you say are your friends like Big Nick and you just constantly make them the butt of the joke and you just all you care about is views and you lie and you turn on people it just doesn't really sit right with me personally and it makes me seem like or it makes me feel like you're a bad person now obviously I don't know what David is like off camera to me from what I've seen this guy does not seem like the best person in the world But that about wraps it up for me. Thank you for watching. Bye.